In this episode of Stream of Bot Bites, we have a giveaway code which can be used by potentially multiple times. You can then check the entries that you have within the giveaway and finally and of course pick the giveaway winner hello and welcome to stream robot bites where i cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome stream robot there is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find when relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. So importing the actions into StreamBot is easy. Use right click in the actions section, select import, and we paste in the string from the video description below. You may need to remove a space if you don't uh, copy it uh, just right. And once you do that, we can import those. It's worth noting, these actions do have a queue. Um, queues that block are recommended for actions that are working with files, where you should only have one action running at a time. So now we've got four actions here, of which you'll th set up three commands for. So the actions that we have, the first one is enter giveaway. That's just a standard giveaway entry. It can be called multiple times. So we'll control it by either something like channel point rewards or a command that has a cooldown. You've also got the enter giveaway with one entry only. So this actually will limit the number of times that you can enter a giveaway. So this is just a single time. So you could run this for a month, for example, knowing that only people can enter this once. You've got to check entries, and that's for the multiple entry um, give, uh, giveaway. So that will notify the viewer that they have a certain number of entries. And finally, we have a, a giveaway winner. So uh, whenever the viewer, as well, whenever the winner has been picked, it will remove all entries from the file of that winner. So we didn't get multiple entries if it's uh, multiple prizes being won. So it makes it uh, a bit fairer that way. So that's what these actions do. Let's uh, set up commands for them um, in a moment, but we'll just go through and we'll configure them. Um, so what you need to do for these is you need to point it to a text file that exists. So for me, this does exist. It's my C drive stream stuff giveaway.txt file. Enter giveaway. You set the file here. And what it's just doing is when you do put things into place and select the file, you may need to create a file. I would typically actually remove that file afterwards because it can give an empty entry on the first entry of the list. This one has it in two places, so do be aware of that. So the first one here is just the free form, which you can change in here. And the second one is picking the file again. Again, it's the same file. Finally, the giveaway winner is just this location. So the actions, we need to point it at the text file we're using for this specific giveaway. You can have a duplicate um, giveaways running parallel. You just dif need different text files it points at and different action names. So you just copy them or import again. It'll put a copy on. So to set up the commands, right click in the blank area, select add. First one we want to put in here is enter giveaway. Now, as I said earlier on in the video, this is a key place you can do to select a cooldown. Now you could use, uh, instead of a command, you could use a channel point reward here, and to maybe allow one per, uh, one per you know, certain entries per stream per user. But um, 
or points or something like that, so you limit it by points. So anyway, we're going to use a command here using enter giveaway, and the action is enter giveaway. Now we could use the one time entry, only, but we'll set up two commands for this, even though it's the same file, just to show how it works. Um, so enter giveaway, we're going to leave no call down just for testing, just to show how uh, the basic command will work. Next up is the check entries. So that's going to be check entries there. That's fine, it doesn't really matter. You know, call down that either because it doesn't actually change the giveaway, it just notifies the user how many entries they have. And we'll get giveaway winner. And we're going to use that moderators there. That's also an important one to uh, make sure that's not picked by users. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a one type entry. And there we go. The commands are all set up and we're ready to test. So for testing, we have the broadcaster account on the left hand side and my bot account on the right hand side. So we can show how it works with multiple users. So I'm going to try uh, showing you first the one time entry first. So that's, we should only be able to enter that once. So the broadcaster account enters that. We try again, it's already notifying as we have entered that giveaway. On the bot account, Again, that's only allowed to enter it once. We can still use the check entries command. It doesn't really benefit as much for this type of giveaway. So again, just picking up a single entry. Now, of course, if we're using a regular giveaway, so maybe we have a cooldown on the command, so we can only enter once per hour, for example you can have multiple entries. So you can put in a few there. And we can see now three entries in the giveaway. And the bot still will leave it with one. Okay, now the exciting time to pick the winner. So if you do a giveaway winner, you can see that my broadcaster account is a winner. What's really interesting here though, is it's removed my entries, all three of them. The bot still has its one entry. So if we do to pick a second winner, it's gonna pick the bot. Now for the optional part, to go through the actions and to explain what each part is doing. So we're gonna start with enter giveaway. This is the simplest action we have here. We are writing just the name of the user to a text file. We're then notifying to chat that we have entered the giveaway test that has no prizes. The check entries I will cover next. We need to set the text file here because we have code and I don't want to suggest people to have to execute code here. So once we set this argument, the code here is going to pull that argument into something called giveaway file. It's also going to pick out the user. So it's got a variable called user from the actual user that's triggered that command to check the entries. What it does now is it will look at each file, uh, each line in the file of the giveaway file. Again, giveaway file is here, which is referenced from the arguments, which is then from the action above. If the line that reads in matches the user account, we uh, put an increment on a counter. This counter plus plus means put plus one on that and it starts off as zero up here. We then set the argument called entries count to a string, which we can then use outside of this to say, user, you have these number of entries into the test giveaway. So we've done enter giveaway and check entries. 
And I'm going to show you the one entry only, which is similar to the uh, to both these actions. It's kind of like a merge of them both. Again, it sets argument. The code now, instead of doing a count, it looks just for any occurrence. If we hit that occurrence, it'll say you've already entered that giveaway. And then return false means stop all processing of the action. So what will happen if it's been entered already, it's gonna run that code and it's gonna stop. Otherwise, just like the regular check uh, enter giveaway, it will write to the file and notify the user you've been entered. Finally, the giveaway winner. We go into the file called giveaway.txt. We read a random line from that. We execute the code. I'll get into that in a moment. And we send a message to saying who is the winner. So what we do again, we are going through into the, into the file and we are telling it giveaway file is here. The winner is instead of the user, it's a random line we've pulled in. And what we do rather than counting the entries is if the line is um, not the winner, we write that file to a new temporary file. So we've got a temporary file here, which is created just by a random um, this action will give us a random uh, temporary file. So as we're reading through the giveaway file, we're creating a new temporary file. And so what we're doing is that temporary file is gonna have every entry where the line is not the winner. We then delete the original giveaway file, and then we move the temporary file to the giveaway file. And that's then the explanation of these actions. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to stream a bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide stream bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.